the growing mountains act like a wall. They stop moisture from the Indian Ocean passing over the land. It's getting hotter and drier. The lush rainforest is becoming arid savanna. The new hotter climate destroys the creature's habitat. It forces them to search further afield for food, to stop dragging their knuckles on the floor like apes. To stand and walk on two feet. It's the most important step in the human story. This mountain range along Africa's east coast could be the reason we walk on two feet. It seems incredible. The random movement of two plates may have kick-started a chain of events that will lead to the first humans. man and child. It could be a scene from our own time, but it's one and a half million years ago. These are an early species of human called Homo erectus. And these are the first footprints like our own. Civilizations past and present, everyone that's ever lived the greatest inventions, the most brilliant ideas. Human history, in all its complexity and splendor, begins here and now. The climate changes again. 70,000 years ago, sea levels fall. The gap between Africa and Arabia shrinks down to just 13 kilometers. The Red Sea is narrow and shallow enough for this small group to cross out of Africa. They're another, later species of human called Homo sapiens. They've made it across. Scientists believe every man, woman and child outside of Africa is descended from these 200 or so individuals. Over time, our ancestors multiply and spread out to India, onto Asia, and into Europe. But while humans head north, a giant wall of ice travels south. Europe, 40,000 years ago. Our Homo sapiens ancestors are arriving, only to find a world that's changing fast. It's getting colder. It should be the height of summer, but the plants are frostbitten. The rivers are frozen. Natural changes in the Earth's orbit, CO2 levels, and the flow of warm water around the planet conspire to lower the Earth's temperature. The Earth and its inhabitants enter an ice age. Glaciers as high as skyscrapers creep over the northern hemisphere at 30 centimeters a day. 
Slow and powerful, they sculpt the landscape as they move over it, gouging out great depressions. The planet will never look the same again. Now, around 20,000 years ago, they grind to a halt. Much of the northern hemisphere is covered by ice sheets up to two and a half kilometers thick. With trillions of gallons of water locked up as ice, sea levels fall. Twenty thousand years ago, a strip of land emerges from the ocean between Siberia and Alaska. It's a bridge between two vast continents, a gateway that takes humans from Asia to a new world, America. It's the last great continent to be colonized, the last great human migration. And somewhere down there are the first Americans. Now, 14,000 years ago, the changes that triggered the Ice Age go into reverse. As the ice retreats, it reveals a very different northern hemisphere. The glaciers gouged out huge depressions. Now they fill with water to become North America's Great Lakes. Six thousand years ago, the ice retreats back to the poles, to the Arctic and Antarctic. After a four and a half billion year journey, we've made it. We're back home. This is our world, our time. Now, for the first time, we can piece together our planet's incredible story. We can understand how and why everything we see around us is here today. From the skies above us, to water, the essential ingredient for life. The ground beneath our feet. And finally, life. The spectacular result of a chain of catastrophes and coincidences. Each triumph, each disaster, is a step on the trail that leads to here. To each and every one of us, right now. But Earth's story doesn't end here. A lot has happened, but there's more to come. The Earth will live for at least another four and a half billion years. Everything we've seen on our journey is only half the story. Just imagine what wonders, what terrors, what strange creatures lie ahead for our restless, creative planet. The next chapter of Earth's story is still to be written. Take another epic voyage in Journey Through the Milky Way, brand new next Sunday at 7.